your way, huh? Well, get on with the mission then. I actually have never done that before. Why am I still falling? Oh my gosh! Ah! 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 Copter though. Let's see. Who the hell are you? I'm with the agency. You Carl Blaine? Right now I wish I wasn't. <laughs> you agency boys sure took your time. After all I done for you. I'm not he would really be dead. You. If that was real, he would be I dead. You can help okay. Me find Tom Shannon. What? I thought it was with you guys. Oh, he was. That, I love how casual he but is. Now he's our primary he's just <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's just so casual. This don't game can be the most casual the world thing in the world sometimes. Espionage, baby. So you know where to find him? Sure. Good. Another grenade. Now hold on tight. What are you doing, you idiot? I have a parachute, don't worry. Let's see here. That's another good thing about this game is like when it comes to tethering uh, different people. Oh. You really are one crazy SOB. Yes I am. But I am called Blaine. Drunk and You don't say now let's go to my car here and I drive it. Sounds to good to me. What? My beautiful car! It's a dick! You call it beautiful. Let's go out. Let's go pull it out, I guess. I love this effing ride, man. I can't drive any other car. Pull it oh, out but, here. Oh. No, I can't pull it out by my hand, but I can tether it to a tractor. Stun jump. Get on. Yeah! Get up on the roof, my man. You fight better from there. Get going. I just you know that I get on the roof. Okay, so, this by far, what I'm about to do, is the most fun mission in the game. So, literally, it, it is really fun with what you're about to see. Okay. All I need is these two revolvers. Let me, wait. Yeah, I'm going to reload. Alright. Now, I'm probably not even going to shoot. I'll probably pull out some grenades, and that, that's all I'll use. I imagine you can't dual wield explosives. But, it is what it is. So, I'm not gonna shoot. Oh, uh, there'll be a lot of guys coming at us, don't worry about it, but... I'm probably not gonna shoot. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how he sticks on there. He's just boss like that. Now, if he fell under that... Oh my goodness, look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Oh, that's wicked. Oh. Yep, they're coming after me. Alright, this is where it gets fun. Wait, let me get some speed before I start. I guess I will shoot this guy. Ugh. This game has an auto lock that can be really gay sometimes. Oh my goodness. Will you see that? Like that little spot right there? That's what it's locking onto, and it won't let me shoot anything besides that direction. There we go. Alright, so to get rid of that car, let's tether it to the ground. Oh, I messed up. Let's tether it to the ground. Wham! Ha! Flipped! And wham! Trust me, it gets more fun when we get to the bridge. Yes, the bridge. Alright, let's tether it to a tree over there. Woo! <laughs> that is fun as I don't know what. Trust me, I honestly would just buy this game if the entire game sucked just to do this mission over and over and over again. Alright, we're at the bridge. Ready, set, wait. Go! Opening! Wow! Oh, you're lucky. Didn't have enough speed. Go over the edge. Oh, I missed. Dang, gun it. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, he's on fire. He's about to blow up anyway. Well, there's another bridge. Don't worry. That's not the bridge I was talking about anyway. This one up ahead that has no railing. All right. Where are these guys? Oh, I really and you can tether two cars together, but it doesn't really do anything special because they keep up the exact same speed so yeah okay that's unfortunate sorry sir I just tethered him out of the car but the car still okay all right let's get him and tether him to oh, on it oh wait, never mind oh I didn't mean to do that that was not a good idea I am seriously gonna die on this mission okay we're at the bridge yeah wow <laughs> come on man catch up uh, let's come on. Come on. There you go. Wham! Flips! There you go. That's the end of the bridge. There's usually more cars than that, but... Oh, well. 
I need more help. Alright, let's do this. Ready? Set. Oh, oh, I missed. I didn't get like enough speed. This one's gonna be good. Wham! Oh, he survived it. Oh, wait a minute. Wham! And of course, you get that guy. Oh, I missed him. If I can get one individual person, you can drag somebody from the back of this thing. It, it doesn't get any funnier than that. Come on, where's one guy? See if I can get him. Nope. And this guy's slow. Don't worry, I'll drag somebody later. And kaboom. I was able to just, you know, get pretty much, they, they can't drive. Alright, and that's the end of this mission. But that is by far one of my favorite missions in the game. Because you just fling guys over like it's absolutely nothing. No! Hey, thanks, pal. I hey, I thought he liked that car. From meeting my maker. Oh, you'll still meet him. Unless you get me to Sheldon. Relax, buddy. We'll find him for you. No trouble. Find him where? For a drunk guy, he drives pretty well. And treats pretty well. Started some kind of rebel gang. Fighting for the government, fighting against the government. So much rumor. So get me to this rebel gang. Th that won't be easy. You want me to throw you back to those dogs? But it's not impossible. <laughs> there are three major criminal gangs on the island. You get in real friendly with all of them, and they sure lead you all the way to Sheldon. Those three criminal PDA gangs are basically the key PDA. to the rest of this you game. Want my PDA? I need to download for you the intel on these gangs. Okay, but if you mess with me, I will kill you. Yeah, well, stuff happens for a reason. All right, these three gangs that you're about to run into are pretty brutal, actually. Um. But they're awesome. Because you do missions for them, they all fall in love with you because you do so much uh, awesome home work. Home sweet home. Wow, this PDA is some high-tech stuff. Hey, where are you going? I'm downloading the... I wouldn't trust him. ...contacts I told you about. That way you can get in real close with these guys. Real close and cozy, you dig? I can't just waltz up and say, Hey, I'm a criminal, and I'd like to work for your yes, organization. You can. Sure, so I'll just tell old crooks of this island that an international gun for hire is visiting Panal. A uh, Mr. Uh, Scorpion. They're always looking for new talent. Okay. But I'll need guns and vehicles. I'll put you in contact with a black market dealer I know. Remember that black market dealer. He's really important. If these things fail, believe me, I'm coming back for you. That black market dealer is very important. That's an achievement right there, if I didn't already have it. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves up. Oh, wait, 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 ah! Okay. And here's the PDA. New stronghold takeovers. Alright. And the black market. Order different things from those guys. Trust me, you get some really, really cool stuff. Once you get the airplane, oh my goodness. Well, that's pretty much it. At least for the beginning. I got a message from Carl Blaine about you. The Scorpion, right? Well, I am the Sloth Demon. Sloth? I thought it was Sloth. Drop or an extraction. I'm your man. Poor Sloth. He's actually pretty fast when it comes when you call him. That's a brutal name. The Sloth Demon. It's actually pretty brutal. Like, watch this. Oh, equip the beacon. Here's the thing. Never aim it in the sky. It took me forever to figure out. I'm like, why isn't it working? You always have to aim it at the ground and give yourself plenty of space because where you aim it is where he's going to drop it. What can I do for you today? Yep. He always comes here and he has different things. I'm going to go ahead and show you this and then we're going to go ahead and end this episode. And you guys are going to have to wait till the next one. All right. Let's see. So you start off with equipment. You get... These are all the weapons in the game, sadly, but trust me, they're, they're more than enough. Fragmentation grenade, you upgrade and make it stronger. Um, 
pistols, of course. The revolver. I love the revolver. Sniper rifle. Assault rifle. Triggered explosive, which is basically C4, but I have some of that. Sawed off shotgun. The regular shotgun. The regular shotgun is actually not all that. It has a lot of range, but it takes two shots, so. And it does have a pump, so. I mean, I mean it is pump action, so. The submachine gun is probably one of the best weapons in the game when you do a wield them. And the machine gun, it's it's nice, but it's very unideal. Uh, when it comes to vehicles, all right, that is the most important vehicle to have. That is an airplane. If you guys can't see it behind the giant lock, that is actually an airplane. And oh my goodness, it is so amazing. All right, that's a boat. Okay, that's that. That thing is actually not that good. Okay, there there's some bikes that you can find that are way better than that one, but it's good for hill climbing, so it is important to have. That plane will get you wherever you need to go. All right, there's plenty of planes in this game. Planes are better than helicopters by far in this game. Um, that one doesn't have weapons though, is the only thing, but it's still brutal. Um, here, right here, that boat, that boat is amazing. It's just fast and it has weapons on it. Yeah. All right, that chopper's pretty bland. I don't remember if it has anything on it, but it's 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 cool. Um, yeah, that thing is crap, yo. I'd much rather have the Mikado up here than this thing, because that thing is just slow. Um, this, this car, this Traverse Z, you can actually find these without having to go to the um, black market. Some you'll get have guns on the back, the other ones won't, but um, it's a brutal car. It's just overall fast, it's amazing looking, it's just cool. It Look at that top speed compared to the helicopter top speed and yes they are not there I'm talking that's that represents almost miles per hour so there's no proportion to that if this thing had enough open space it'd be faster than that now the airplane when you fully upgrade it and even then right now it's still fast when you fully upgrade that airplane though you are gone all right this Paloma um renegade it's actually pretty cool it's like an El Camino type thing it has a gun on the back uh, it's actually pretty fast for a truck it's it's a, yeah, it is pretty fast for a truck, but um, and, and it's actually pretty strong. It's a good thing to have, but it's actually not as good as this one right here. However, this one is less expensive than this one. Um, that's pretty much it. This one's a little slower, and this one is a little stronger, but its handling is just even though the handling says it's pretty high, when it comes to turning corners, oh my goodness, you you, you need power steering or something. Uh, that Razorback thing, that thing is way overpowered. I, I've bought it maybe once or twice, but it's slow. It's just basically a homemade tank, but it's strong as I don't know what. Um, it's good for, like, if you're cornered or something and you have enough money to buy one. Money in this game comes and goes, you know, the main thing you'll spend it on is these things. And, of course, that Havoc helicopter, the most expensive thing in the game. That Havoc helicopter you don't unlock till later. I'll also show you how the unlocking works before we go. Um, oh, and at the very bottom with the lock, that's, uh, what's it called? Um, extraction. So, like, if you don't feel like flying somewhere, you just call him, he'll pick you up, and he'll take you where you need to go. Alright, so let me show you this much. Alright, you see at the bottom of the screen right there under chaos, it'll, you see how the little orange bar says next black market item? As soon as I fill up that bar, that, that bar gets filled by the chaos I cause. Like, you know when I do explosions and military stuff? That bar gets more, and you see the number I have, it says chaos, and my lower letters are on fire. Um... That's what happens. Uh, the agency missions are the main things you'll be doing. Strongholds are when you go capture an area, and it's really good to have a lot of strongholds because, like, let's say you're in a fight nearby. This spot of it, is that the airport? Yes, that airport is amazing. It has some good planes up there. I'm actually gonna go ahead over there before I end this game. Um, but when you fill that up, the next black market item unlocks, and by the end of the game, you'll have them all. But we're gonna go ahead and head over to this airport, I think, because if that's the airport... Time to meet the criminal factions and make some new best friends. And I like about this game, because it's not like... It's not like when it comes to, like, San Andreas, like, if you don't have a pilot's license, you can't fly planes. Unless you use okay, a cheat code. you get to know the factions real good, Rico. The Roaches are Panau's urban mob. They wear some, how do I put it... Italian, Italian suits, haha. <laughs> the, the Reapers... Well, they follow a good old Che Guevara's food. The Reapers, that's who you want to go with. Those guys are hard for fighters. People, as long as it's their land and their people. Then there's the Ular boys. Those guys are annoying. A crazy jungle mob who plan to turn this island into a natural paradise. Meaning, no foreigners, no foreign goods, and foreign pop music, dig? A careful, Rico. For sport that dies traitors with their man -dows. And yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, just be careful around those guys. Um hold up. Oh, it's to my right. This is Radio Panau, the voice of truth. 
So listen to it. Today, the President Panay administration issued orders to shut down the international gambling establishment Panao Falls Casino. In the fracas that followed, the Panao military was forced to intervene as dangerous foreign criminal elements took their native customs to the soil of Panao 